never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I could feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at Penn Treaty Park, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. My name is Mike for Drones Are Eagles. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I go live. This is where Mr. William Penn, the founder of Philadelphia, well, Pennsylvania, um... This is where he landed. Way back in 1682. This is where he made the deal with the Indians. Uh, of course, he came from the river. There's the river, Delaware River. That's where he came from. Struck a deal with the Indians. Maybe I'll Google some things about it and I can show you with this video. I can show you some things about it. Mr. William Penn. Now he's the one, Mr. Penn there, he's the one on top of City Hall. Remember City Hall? William Penn is on top of City Hall? Yes. Um, so he founded Pennsylvania right here in Philadelphia. He came here on a ship um, sent from across the pond, sent from his, sent here with his, uh, from his, uh, uh, sent here from his king uh, looking for the land. And he found it here. He landed here. A bunch of Indians here. Um, there was a lot of wars going on. Fights for this land. And then this is where he made the agreement with the Indians. Um, I don't know too much about it. Uh, too much about it. Even though I'm from Philly. I really didn't study too much. All I know is this is where he landed. With the ship. You know, came from across the pond. Came straight up the river here. And, and landed right here. This is where he landed. Um... And this was the spot where the treaty was made, you know, um, struck down the deal, I guess gave them so much gold or something, because, you know, Indians love to wear gold, uh, a lot of gold around, they make a lot of beads and stuff made out of gold and stuff put around their wrist, around their neck, and I'm sure uh, there was a lot of gold where Mr. Penn came from, and offered a lot of goods, trades, you know, um, a lot of history here in Philadelphia, man. This is like, place is awesome, you know. And um, I thought that I'd put my drone up also on this video and just show you around. Look at this. And there's the Ben Franklin Bridge over there, guys. You know, I flew the drone up that way before. Showed you. And back this way, if I go that way, about two miles that way, is Graffiti Pair. Remember the pair with the graffiti? Yeah, that's that way. All the way down two miles that way on the river. Maybe I'll go over here by this crane over my drone. See that crane over there? That old building? Very old building. These are old buildings. But I got to watch because it is windy out here. Um, I'm sure you can probably hear it, the microphone from this phone. But uh, it's a little windy out here. So I got to be careful with my drone. See the flag up there blowing around? So I got to be careful with my drone. Uh, but I want to send this up go down there by the old building a couple hundred years old But this is it right here. This is Penn Treaty Park. It's called Penn Treaty Park. So somewhere around here in the waters He landed With his ship Pretty cool, right? Oh, it's windy. I don't know. I, should, I don't know if I should put my drone up here. It is really really windy take it down that way maybe I don't know it's windy out here guys yeah. I think I want to cancel that right now it's really really windy out here I don't want to lose my drone guys I don't want to lose my drone um, 
Maybe I just use, maybe he has wind too windy out here. Maybe I should just use this for my channel members only. Or maybe I should make a public. I don't know what I should do. But I'm definitely not gonna fly the drone out here. It's too windy. Uh, DJI drones are very powerful against the wind. But it's just too windy out here. You know, I never flew my drone this windy. Like if it's I looked at my phone, it said 40 mile an hour winds. That's just down here. How about 200 feet up in the air? I mean, that 400, that 40 mile an hour winds can easily turn to 75, 65 miles an hour winds, 200 feet in the air. Um, the, the, it was tested, these drones were tested to up to 40 miles an hour winds, uh, not 65 and 70. So I don't, I don't want to take that chance, you know? Don't want to take that chance. So, um, just enjoy some history about Mr. Trent Penn Treaty. And then I'll come back. Come back here. As Europe's largest city recovers from plague and fire, the son of a war hero sits in a jail cell. Held captive in the Tower of London, William Penn dares to challenge the Church of England. He's a young radical. He's the son of an admiral, a gentleman, a theologian, a man of reason. He's all these things, sometimes at the same time. He's enraptured with Quaker ideas about human equality, and this gets him into some serious trouble. The only portrait we have of him, he's wearing armor. Good Quaker isn't supposed to do a thing like that. In time, the young rebel will make a city, and his city will be the seed of a nation. For much of the 1600s, the English live in fear of constant warfare and disease. Both traumas mark young William Penn. From childhood, he wears a wig to hide the scars of smallpox. His father, Admiral Penn, is an ally of King Charles II. His son <laughs> didn't join the Anglican Church and be a good boy. His father was very unhappy with his son's nonconformity. He's an outsider in his own home and an outsider in the larger English establishment. He takes up with other people who think as he does. This cadre of avant-garde thinkers call themselves Philadelphians and gives him a sense that he's not crazy. Angered by his son's disobedience, Admiral Penn sends William on a tour of France and Italy. William is not impressed. He recoils at the misery and suffering surrounding the opulent palaces, the frivolous playground of his own social class. He's seen London, which burned in 1666. He's seen Paris and the extraordinary inequality of wealth, the salaciousness of the court, and the, the ridiculousness of pretension, and all those things rung untrue to him and wrong to him. He imagines what he can do to mend the world. He sees plainly dressed preachers roaming the countryside, railing against war and material wealth. Inspired, William joins their fledgling movement, the Religious Society of Friends, or Quakers. Together, they boldly challenge the Church of England and face a violent backlash from the British government. He's converted. He's preaching in the streets, and pretty soon he finds himself in jail for his association with these rabble-rousers. William Penn writes a number of what are called subversive tracts, criticizing long-standing religion. He's testing the limits of society. Trial by jury, no established church, a government of laws, not men. He tells the king he will not retract at all, even if the prison is his grave. William's commitment eventually impresses even his father. Near death, Admiral Penn buys his son's release from jail and petitions James, the Duke of York, to shield William from England's laws of religious persecution. 
the king owed a huge debt to William Penn's father for services to the crown during the English-Dutch War. Charles II is not able to square the debt with Admiral Penn before, unfortunately, Admiral Penn passes away. So the debt has passed to William Penn. The king chooses to repay the debt, not with money, but with land. He offers Penn a colony in North America, 45,000 square miles on the west side of the Delaware River. In the New World, the English settlements were poorly protected from the French to the north or the Spanish to the west. When William Penn volunteers his services as a colony creator, what the king hears him saying is, I am volunteering to create a buffer zone, and I will populate it with Quakers. William Penn had a dream. He called it a holy experiment. He was talking about founding a government the like of which didn't exist anywhere. At age 36, Penn has secured a canvas for his utopian dream. He wants to call it Sylvania, Latin for woods. But the king insists upon naming the colony for William's father, Admiral Penn. The rebellious young Quaker is now one of the largest landholders in the British Empire, the absolute proprietor of Pennsylvania. He arrives in his new territory on October 29th, 1682. Lots of people came on those boats and they said, we're gonna establish a utopia. Most of them didn't have the faintest idea what was necessary to have a functioning and successful city. William Penn did. It is a clear and just thing, and my God, who has given it me through many difficulties, will, I believe, bless and make it the seed of a nation. William Penn, 1681. Penn brings a vision for his capital, an enormous 10,000-acre city concentrated along the Delaware River. But there is not enough open land for such a large city. Penn isn't the first to get here. There were Swedes here, Dutch, Finns, Native Americans. There is a robust population already here. It was very difficult to figure out where to put the city and what that city would be like. Penn sends Thomas Holm, an experienced surveyor, to walk across the woods and meadows, marking future streets with his own steps. Holm and Penn envision a new type of city, spacious enough to guard against the squalor of European capitals. They negotiate with Swedish farmers to buy their land. Penn had experienced both the Great Fire of London and the plague. His view was that if the city was built with enough green space, that a fire couldn't decimate it. Holmes' plan transforms Penn's sprawling idea into a distinctive town of square blocks and wide streets. There would be no dark alleyways, as in London or other European cities where vice might flourish in the shadows. Oh, no. Thomas Holm comes up with an orderly grid pattern. There'll be the center square where City Hall is now. The city will go from river to river, from the Delaware to the Schuylkill. And the grid becomes the pattern for American urban development up to the present day. The principle of order, which is what Quakers were really about, is what resonates most. When that map went back to London, people were moved by it. Europe was in disorder, and wars and famine, overpopulation, all of these were push factors to get people to leave. Penn names his city Philadelphia. He believes it will be a place that aspires to the Quaker ideal of brotherly love. So did you enjoy that? That was pretty awesome, right? Hey, squirrely pants, squirrely pants, squirrely pants, squirrely, squirrely, squirrely pants. <laughs> oh man, it is windy out here. Yeah, I can't test. I can't. I would. I, I can't um, uh, chance it. In memory of Mary Satan Corbin from the Friends of Penn Treaty Park.
that's pretty cool. You can, um, what you call it? Donate, not donate. Um, what's that called? Adopt. You can adopt one of these benches and put a family member's name. Maybe I'll bring a lies here. Look at that. They got swings. That's, I, don't, I mean, a, a little place where he can play. Not right now. It's too cold. Look at the new building. The new apartment buildings they're making over there. I wonder how much that costs to rent a month. <laughs> Where's the casino at? Where's the new casino? It's, uh, it's that way. Yeah, it's that way. The new casino they built down here. Woo, it's windy out here. <laughs> it's windy out here. Uh, well, guys. I'm gonna head out of here. I was gonna fly my drone, but it's just too windy out there. It is, I don't want to lose my my thousand dollar drone right in the water. That would be like the ultimate. You know what I mean? That would be like, <laughs> oh my god, my haters will be laughing at me. They'll probably make videos of it if I can. No, nah, I won't be able to retrieve the SIM card, so they won't see it either. Uh, only way they can see that is if I was live. Uh, hey, Mr. Turtle. Uh, but yeah. I'll, of course, I'll talk about it on my channel. They'll sit there and laugh at me and all that, but it is what it is, right? But that's not going to happen because I'm not going to fly in these in these conditions. So let me get out of here, guys. Thank you, thank you for watching. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, all that good works. Share everything, please. Check out the links in the description. Uh, until next time, this is Mike for Drones Our Egos. Remember, love is the key, guys. Drama free. I'm out. Peace. And a string. You don't understand the pain it brings. You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. You know I'm addicted to you. And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo. Got me coming back from.